Hi there, my name is Caitlin. I'm from grassfedgirl.com. I wanted to give you some updates on my carnivore program. So I've been following carnivore now for three months. I started the 1st of October and now it's early January. So I'm really excited about my results and I wanted to fill you in on the changes and things that I've noticed. So uh, first of all, a little recap on why I got started. So I have Hashimoto's thyroid disease, and I've had that since 2009, um, late 2009, early 2010. I got diagnosed, and I, I started to uh, get rid of the gluten and all that. Then I went paleo, and then um, I realized that I couldn't handle all the starches and all the sugars that are about allowed on paleo, so I went to uh, keto, and um, then I realized that you know, I, I just have these ongoing digestive problems, so I decided that through a lot of nudging from some friends of mine and from a health coach, uh, Nourish Caveman uh, is her blog, she told me, you've got to try it because of your digestion, and I had some hormone issues, like I get a really bad headache around my first day of my cycle, and also... Um, then just the weight was just not coming off. So I was really in good shape when I first got sick. And then all of a sudden I gained about 20, 30 pounds overnight. And ever since then, it's just been really tough to get it off. And even um, doing keto diet, it just, the weight was not budging. So uh, I just wanted to see if maybe doing carnivore uh, would help. And so the first month, uh, I lost about 10 pounds right away, and that was really amazing because I was eating a lot, and I didn't have to um, restrict my food, which normally I do. I always have to restrict my food uh, when I am doing paleo or keto because um, I just love food, and um, so I just always have to watch a little bit um, portions and, of course, carbs and all that. Um, because it just, just like other people can eat on keto and they don't have to worry about gaining weight. Well, I will gain weight on keto if I just eat whatever I want. So, um, anyway, carnivore isn't like that. You don't have to really watch or monitor. If you, as long as you're just eating fatty meat or eggs, you are good to go. So that was a really good thing. I hate counting macros. I hate counting calories. I hate um, worrying about all that stuff um, because it almost makes you more neurotic and more like worried about counting and everything and then it makes you want to eat more because you feel restricted you know so that's one thing I really liked about carnivore uh, right off the bat was that you don't have to worry about counting your macros and all that so my digestion is still not where I want it to be it's the one of the symptoms of Hashimoto's is running slow digestion so um, that is still a challenge but one thing I did notice a lot was the bloating. So when you eat a lot of vegetables, and I loved, used to love vegetables, um, haven't been eating them lately, on carnivore, uh, the bloating, this big bloating up and down, a lot of women have that, and men too, maybe they just don't notice as much or they don't talk about it as much. But the bloating up and down is a really big issue. So that is gone. Um, that is just amazing because... I know that is a big challenge for especially people with autoimmune disease or uh, digestive problems in general, IBS and all that kind of stuff. So the bloating is gone. That is really cool. Um, so that gives me a, a signal to me that, you know, my gut is liking this. Um, my food is digesting, that kind of thing. Um, and I just still taking some natural calm magnesium supplement to help me go to the bathroom. But, you know it's still a lot better than it was. So um, I'm excited about that. My energy, let's see. My energy, it's different because when I do eat a lot of carbs, like on a paleo diet, and I eat a lot more fruit and stuff like that, I do have more energy, let's just say to work out and things like that, but it's more like explosive energy. You know what I mean? Like it's more like aerobic energy, I guess you could say. So I could go and do like a high intensity workout or something like that, but my energy through the day would be kind of all over the place. So this energy is different. It's more like a slow burn, like you always have energy. Um, even if I wake up really, really early, which I don't like to do, um, but I won't be tired. Like if I if I was to be eating carbs right now, I would be tired uh, if, I, if I didn't get enough sleep. So like on this diet, 
carnivore, I can sleep about seven hours and six hours and I feel fine. It's amazing. So um, my energy is more steady, I would say, and I'm not so dependent on that like eight, nine hours of sleep that I was um, on a more carb-filled diet. Uh, so, and, and the sleep, when you do fall asleep, it is like you are in a coma. You cannot wake up. You do not wake up. So little things that used to kind of wake me up, um, noises around the house or my husband coming and going or something like that, they don't wake me up now. I can sleep a lot more soundly and it's a deeper sleep. So those are some changes with my sleep. Let's see. Um, so that's energy, digestion, sleep. My mood is good. I mean, right now we're going into winter and a lot of times that will bum me out. Um, but I think eating this way is helping a little bit um, because I know I can look forward to fatty meat and fatty meals and not being hungry, not being starving, not being worried about what am I going to eat or how much can I eat and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's improving my mood and, um, and like I said, my energy, my digestion is good. So those are some improvements that I've had. And long term, oh, I, and I also wanted to tell you a little bit about my thyroid uh, results. My um, antibodies are down. That, I got a thyroid test after the first 30 days, and my, my antibodies are down 30 points. So I'm going to do another um, anti thyroid test here in the next few weeks, and then that will tell me again where my um, levels are for the next uh, after three months. So that's a really cool thing that my antibodies have gone down and um, my levels are pretty much steady as far as TSH and all that. Um, they're pretty okay. They're not optimal maybe I'd say, but they're not, um, they're not, they're still kind of in that functional range, maybe not. Uh, but you know, thyroid is so variable and changing all the time. So, um, and very individual. So that is always a challenge. But just to see my antibodies go down, that made me think, well, my body's really liking this. You know, my system is resetting from this. And because um, those antibodies are a sign that your body's attacking its own thyroid and its own tissue. And that's not what you want because the problem is after you, it moves on from thyroid to something else and you don't want a new thing that your body's attacking. You know, it can be your joints or a new um, organ system or um, that's the scary part about autoimmune disease that they can travel around your body. So that's a good reason to really take your health into serious, uh, take a serious look at it. So let's see, long term, what am I thinking? Um, I'm continuing to work with my health coach and I recommend that you do that too if you're going to do carnivore, uh, especially for long term. I'm really trying to get my organ meats in because that has a little bit of vitamin C that you need and a lot of other vitamins. Um, organ meats are the superfood of all superfoods, way better than kale. So I'm trying to get my organ meats. And long term, I'm just going to keep working with my health coach. I'm going off the, I've been doing some testing on my gut. And um, I did some thyroid tests, not thyroid, The uh, I did a gut test and that showed that I didn't have any parasites. I'm also doing a test for my um uh, food sensitivities. So that will show me how I'm doing with the food sensitivities if I have any new sensitivities. So I'll update you on that. But right now I'm just going to keep going because I'm feeling really good. And other times I've tried other things. I mean, I was re really clear that it wasn't working for me. And I, especially when I was doing a vegetarian diet years ago. So there was a lot of signs that that was not working for me. But um, keto and paleo, I feel like, are on the same kind of spectrum. And, you know, they were helping me especially get my thyroid levels under control and everything. And, you know, I feel like the work that I've done over the years to improve my health has got me to this place, too. So uh, it all helps. So keep up the good work. And I'm excited to share with you as I keep experimenting about carnivore and sharing my results. So thanks for watching. See you next time.